I just had a phenomenal experience uh, in my neighborhood uh, two weeks ago. And I stood in the middle of our street and my neighbor, Brad, uh, was out there moving out of our neighborhood after eight years. And Brad and Aaron, uh, we've gotten to know them a little bit over the years that they've lived in the neighborhood. As we stood in the middle of the street, it was the last time we'd be together, and he, um, he, he looked back at his house on the street and he said, my, there has been so much happen in that house over the last eight years. And, and he said, you know, that's where I proposed to my wife. That's where we, got, uh, we had our first house together. That's where our first child was born. And then he paused for just a minute and he looked at the house and he says, and you know, that's where I began to explore issues of faith. And uh, it's, he says, and how my life has changed in these last eight years. And then he began to unpack that and he said, you know, we graduated from a major secular university here on, in Indiana. And uh, he said, my wife and I both were really partiers and we could drink and we, we were having a um, quite, we were good at that is the way he put it. He said, but inside of me, he says, I, I realized that I, there was something missing. He said, and also I never had any healthy male models in my life growing up. And then he said, but I'm, as I got into the neighborhood, I started to meet people like you, and then he lists off three or four other Christian guys that are living there in the neighborhood and meet their families and, and their kids. And, and he said, I just realized this was healthy, and I'd never seen anything like that before. And, and then he said, so I began to explore Jesus. And he began then to describe to me how he began going to a church and eventually how he began to follow Christ. And then he said, now my son is in the Christian preschool, and and he paused and just with this big smile, he said, my life is so different. And when I heard that story, I thought that's a heart of Love 2020, is uh, can we just spiritually, uh, supernaturally, but naturally engage our neighbors in a healthy way. It also hit me that nothing was um, overtly intentional like I've had with some of my other neighbors where we've invited them into Bible studies. I actually, he and I mostly built a relationship talking in the street and in our yards. We didn't have him in our Bible study. We didn't even do a lot socially, but, but it was a community witness of people, of multiple people in his life and his wife's life that led both of them to begin to follow Jesus. And so we stood in the middle of the street with, I had tears in my eyes as I just thought, Brad and Aaron, their life is radically changed because of the witness of God's community as people have prayed and cared for their neighbors and then we're able to share Jesus with them.